Okay, probably the easiest way to see this is to rewrite 6 to the 4th, 8 to the 2nd, and 12 to the 4th in prime factored form. So 6 to the 4th is the same as 2 times 3 to the 4th, which is 2 to the 4th, 3 to the 4th. And 8 squared is the same as 2 cubed squared, which is 2 to the 6th. And if you had to find the LCM of those two numbers, you would say, well, I'm going to find the all the distinct prime factors that appear in both numbers, and that's a 2 and a 3. But I'm going to use the largest exponent that appears on either of those prime factors. So the LCM of these two numbers would be 2 to the 6th times 3 to the 4th. But we're told that the LCM is actually 12 to the 4th, which if I rewrite this in prime factored form, it's 2 to the 8th times 3 to the 4th. So instead of collecting a 2 to the 6th power, to form the LCM, I need to collect a 2 to the 8th. I still have the same prime factors, 2 and 3, but I need, whoop, I need an 8 on the 2, and that gives me this LCM right here, because there's a 2s and 3s, and all of these three numbers but the largest exponent on the 2 is an 8. The largest exponent on a 3 is still 4, which is 12 to the 4th. So 2 to the 8th is the smallest integer that gives you an LCM of 2 to the 8th, 3 to the 4th, or 12 to the 4th. And here's kind of proof. Uh, 12 to the 4th is 20,736. That's the LCM for these three numbers. Uh, you can try other numbers less than 256, but I think you'll see that they do not give you an LCM of 20,736. Okay, there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.